Hello, it's the Admin Junior. And whereas the last tutorial I did was setting up an image editing compositing line, this one's going to be about overviewing exactly which what each step in that does. To begin with, we have our image right at the start. Next, we have a hue correct. This is essentially to take the oranges out and the blues out of the original image. If we scroll across, we can see how effectively this is done. The blue C is removed as well, making it a bit more grey. The sky becomes more grey and the rocks we lose the the um, sunset effect but we also retain the greens of the trees and a bit of the red of the lighthouse itself on to the next step and what we have here is just basically darkening a bit our previous light image has been darkened everywhere uniformly basically just to make it a bit darker um, in terms of time and in terms of weather For this we want to change the gain rather than the lift or the gamma next of all we have an issue with the trees being somewhat bright so we darken the entire thing but we keep the whites at their same level so the whites are pretty much unaffected it's only the greys and the darker colors to achieve this I separate it into HSVA that's hue saturation value and alpha the values explained in the previous tutorial then I change the contrast and the brightest slightly of the value and we can see the value channel there this is after it's been edited so we move on they of course they're put back together again to the next one whereby our image has the sky filtered out. So nothing else is touched apart from the sky at the top. Now this uses a channel key which removes a specific channel and in this case I'm using YUV. Now YUV was used for analog television uh, transmissions and basically it comprises a Y or luminance channel which is basically black and white and U and V which are put together to create the color channel this was useful when you had old televisions which, which could only support black and white and then all they did was take the luminous channel and display them whereas the color televisions would also display the U and V the uh, chrominance channels so we get rid of this luminance channel and we set a high value to make sure we're only getting really rid of the sky which is the brightest part of the image well pretty much it's a sort of greyish part so we get rid of that oops put it over and we send it to alpha over which takes that alpha makes it stronger by using c convert pre-multiplied by a factor of one just to make it that bit stronger and we basically combine that sky with uh, just straight black therefore obviously darkening it to produce something which is pretty much exactly the same in terms of everything else but the sky and the shadow of the um, or basically all the white 
or the really bright whites are dimmed to produce this really dark effect in terms of light because of course when you're dealing with an image you've also got to remember where the light's coming from, light sources or what sort of mood you're trying to accomplish really and so we go from our really bright and vibrant image with lots of colors all over the place <clears throat> because of all our light sources the, because of our golden sunset and we take it and we gray it by turning down by turning down the colors and yet we still retain some of those greens we still retain that red just about um, but we enhance the darkness, make it really quite menacing, and the sky becomes almost uniformly grey to produce a final output of not a bad conversion. We do have an issue with a green strip in the sky, but you know, a bit of tinkering will get rid of that quite easily. Um, and there's a bit of orange as well right on the horizon but I think that helps you know, give it a bit of colour all in all not a bad conversion, not a bad um, image manipulation points to remember are basically using hue correct to remove colours um, colour balance to darken uniformly separating it using the separation not just on RGB but on HSVA to manipulate individual channels which can be in certain situations really useful and it certainly was here in really darkening the trees and giving it a really really brightening up the darkness so to speak uh, making it stand out more the channel key is not very uh, often used it's more cr common to see a chroma key but this was really necessary because I wanted to show it uh, and I wanted to um, make use of the YUV color model um, for the purpose of this example just to you know, point out that it exists give a short explanation of it and it's quite effective in blotting out the sky so I can mix it with an alpha over with black therefore changing the entire lighting of the scene to make it really dark while still retaining the colors if I just did if I skipped all of this turned I used a hue correct and just turned down the colors and then just used a brightness contrast it would it would not in any way achieve the same effect sure the whole thing would be you know, would be similar, but it wouldn't look as realistic. You would get uh, everything would be darkened, and it wouldn't look realistic. Anyway, so Blender is really quite uh, has some really quite advanced mechanisms for manipulating images. Um, not unlike After Effects, although it's a bit more manual. <laughs> you do need to know a bit about what you're doing and a bit about um, the individual color models because all of these can be researched on Wikipedia if required um, and you, c you can use split viewers all of the way just to make sure that uh, to be able to see what you're actually making and how uh, everything works which is what I've uh, tried to do here hope you learned something thank you for watching this tutorial